and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to walk through a step-by-step -step guide on how to do a backup of your precious configuration using the 3, 2, 1 backup strategy. That's to say we have three copies on two different media with one of them being off-site. For reference, this is what the big corporates use at the moment, and there's some links in the description below of various different commercial um, um, articles about why 321 strategy works and should be good for you. So let's get into it. So to be able to achieve our 321 backup strategy, we're going to utilize two different add-ons. One is the Home Assistant Google Backup Drive, and one is called the Samba Backup. We're going to run through the Google one first. Moving across into add-ons, go down to add-on store, we need to add in the repository for Google Drive. Moving to our three dots in the top right-hand corner, selecting the repositories, it'll bring up an add repository. There's a link in the description below for the repository that we need to paste into here. Once you've pasted it in, press add. You can now close out of this. Now we need to clear the cache. So do control F5. Once that's come back, if we search for Google, we can see that the Google Drive is appears now. Press install. Once the installation is complete, remember to turn on our watchdog, which will restart the add-on if it crashes for whatever reason. Optionally, you can show in sidebar as well. And once you've started that, you can make backups directly from the navigation bar. Next, we need to go through into our configuration. The options are for setting the maximum number of backups in Home Assistant, maximum number in Google Drive, and the days between the actual backups themselves. Set these according to your preferences. Moving back into Info, we can now start. Once the add-on has started, you'll get a green dot in the top right-hand corner. We'll now need to move across to the web UI. We'll need to go and authenticate our Google Drive. If you don't have a Google account at this point, Please pause the video, go and get yourself a Google account and come back. Assuming that you've got your Google account now all set up, we're going to press the Authenticate Google Drive. This will take us across to a selection criteria for which account you wish to select. Press Continue to authorize. You'll be presented with an authorization screen. Sometimes you can press this Send Credentials and it will authorize it automatically. I've never had much luck with this one. So instead, what I do is I press Copy. This copies the authentication string. Now move back into your Home Assistant and paste in your authorization string into the space provided. Now press save. I can now press backup now. I'm going to continue with the existing folder for Home Assistant backups. So I'm going to press use this folder and now I'm going to take a snapshot backup, which is going to be a full backup at the system and back it up into that location. Share reports, I usually press no. As you can see, it's already done the backup and it's uploading it to the system now. It's finished. And that's our backup. And it will follow the pattern and the schedule that you've defined inside of the configuration. And it will continue to back up going forward. Now we need to set up the second add-on. Press add-ons. Press into the add-on store. Press your three dots because we're going to add another repository. The URL for the second repository is in the comments below. Paste the Samba share URL into the location for add. Press the add button. It will appear once it's been authenticated. Now we're going to close out of this. Remembering to press our control F5 to clear our cache. Once reloaded, search for Samba and you'll find the Samba backup. We now need to install. Once installed, we're going to turn on Watchdog again, which will restart the add-on if it crashes. Now there is some configuration required on this one, so move to the configuration tab. Inside of host, type either the DNS or the IP address of where your Samba share is stored. In my case, I've stored it onto a alternative system that sits on my network that is permanently on. I'll put some links in the description on how to create shares on Windows machines. Now we need to start the add-on. Moving back into info, press your start button. Confirm that it's running with the green dot in the top right hand corner. You might also like to move across into the logs and you'll see that the Samba share has started. This is the network drive to our current location. And as you can see, it is empty at this point in time. And as you can see, the Samba share has updated with our .tar file. So it's completed successfully. So that's it. We have three backups in two different medias on one of them offsite. 
in fact, this is a better solution because this uses two different mechanisms to actually achieve our end result, which gives us even more redundancy. I know this is a long video and I hope you managed to follow along. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. I'm more than happy to answer those for you. Um, this should provide you with a robust way of backing up your Home Assistant configuration. Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and we have some great new content coming up very shortly. Hopefully that will be very exciting for you. Bye until next time.